Unfortunately for us, India happens to have the highest incidence of rabies in the world. And no, there's absolutely no cure for rabies. Hi, my name is Dr. Monica Mahajan and I'll be sharing some of the facts about this dreaded disease with you today. So what causes rabies? Rabies is caused by the bite of a rabid animal. This may be a domestic animal or a wild animal. Dogs, cats, foxes, raccoons, rodents, a whole lot of animals can transmit rabies. Once a bite has happened, the saliva from the rabid animal enters into the wound and then the human being suffers from rabies. Surprisingly, the bite may happen today and the incubation period may be even up to several years. So from anywhere from 10 days to several years, the bite would have happened and then the human being suffers from this disease called rabies. What are the symptoms of rabies? Once the bite has happened and the virus has multiplied in sufficient numbers, there may be initial symptoms of pain at the site of the bite, fever, headache, nausea and vomiting. There are two types of rabies that can happen. The furious rabies, where the person swings between delirium and coma. There is aversion to water, aversion to cold air and there is excessive salivation. The other kind of rabies is called as dumb rabies, where you may not have all these signs and symptoms, but there may be more significant signs of paralysis happening. A few days into the illness, there is paralysis of the breathing or the respiratory muscles, and ultimately within a week of onset of rabies, the person dies. How can we prevent rabies? For the pet owners, it is most important that their dogs and cats are vaccinated. For a person walking on the street, remember that don't get fascinated by the stray animals and start playing with them. There are certain professions which are involved with dealing with animals, which includes, say, wildlife photographers, people going to the jungles or the vets. For these individuals, there is an option of taking vaccines before they come in contact with animals and this is called as pre-exposure prophylaxis vaccination. For the rest of us, it is important to remember that prevention is better because there's absolutely no cure for rabies. How do we take care of a bite? It is most important that once you have a bite, you wash it profusely with lots of soap and water. Use a clean cloth to apply pressure so that the bleeding stops. But once you go to the hospital, any kind of suturing is avoided in animal bites. It is also important that the vaccination is started within 24 hours of the bite happening. Any sort of delay may render the vaccines ineffective. So there is a series of vaccines which are given and the vaccination schedule can be discussed with your doctor. At the same time, if there are any deep bites, then there is another chemical which is injected around the wound and that is called as a human rabies immunoglobulin. So for mild bites, you may be only offered the vaccination, whereas for deeper bites, you may need a combination of the immunoglobulin as well as the vaccination series. Don't leave the vaccination series in between because it will become ineffective. It is important to discuss with your doctor if you have any sort of allergies, please let it be known to him. But remember that vaccination is the only thing that is going to save lives. It is imperative that you start the vaccination well within the first 24 hours of a bite. So here are three quick facts about rabies. Fact number one, we are sitting in the rabies capital of the world with the highest incidence of cases. Fact two, rabies kills 100% of its victims and there is zero cure. Fact number three, vaccination saves lives. So if in doubt, immediately start vaccination. That is the only thing that is going to work. Thank you so much.